Um, Grizzly Creek's our main concern coming down on the highway, but it can really come down any place. Um, through our partners with the Forest Service, they've identified that there could be a large amount of debris and mud coming, debris flows coming down. Because of the soil stability has decreased due to the fire. So you lose your root structure from your vegetation, so there's nothing holding that rock and debris and soil. So when it does rain, you'll start to see some of those slides come down and it won't just be rock. It'll be soil and tree and brush and it will all compile together. Yeah, all these rest areas are located, I mean, right at the major, um, the bottom of all these major drainages. Uh, it just how happens, that's where the trail systems are. They conveniently put the rest areas in at those same lake locations so they access to trailheads, but that's where all the water is going to come down also in the, in the, the mud and debris and, and so forth. So one of the reasons you know, we're supporting the decision is so that we don't have people in those areas if something happens due to weather, due to rockfall, or anything else that would require an immediate response and a closure of the canyon and worrying about having people stuck in that environment. So when a flash flood watch is is issued for Glenwood Canyon in the burn scar area, at that point in time we activate our personnel that are on standby um, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, in close proximity to these locations. Um, they're going to go out and stage in the area and get ready for uh, potential closure. And we do have, uh, through our partners at State Patrol um, and Glenwood Fire, um, Eagle County Sheriff Office and Garfield County Sheriff's Office, we've all talked, we've come up with a plan of how we're going to make sure we clear the canyon the best we can while still keeping responders safe. Following uh, Storm King in 94, following coal seaman in 2003, um, you know, it, it's flowed across both lanes of I-70 shut it down completely, washed a couple of uh, vehicles into the Colorado River, so that required you know rescue operations there and everything. So it's amazing how much flow you get on these slopes from post-burn conditions.